The idea for today's video is very simple. I put the best version of each NBA team into one league together. Now, choosing which version of each team to use... Well, yeah, that was not, that was not simple. Y'all are going to yell at me. For franchises with one or two championships, things were fairly easy. The 83 Sixers, the Bad Boy Pistons, Hakeem's Rockets, the 2016 Cavaliers, 2011 Mavericks, 2019 Raptors, and current Nuggets were all no-brainers. Actually, the Pistons have won three championships. I'm already making mistakes, but we move on. Some all-time great teams like the 72 and 10 96 Bulls, the 2017 Steph KD Warriors, and the 2013 Miami Heat were simple selections too. There were a number of non-ring winning franchises franchises that could be debated, the Lob City Clippers, the Grit and Grind Grizzlies, and the 7 Seconds or Less Steve Nash Suns. Yes, I did let the fact that each of those franchises have nicknames for their eras influence me, I'll be honest. For some franchises who won a ring way back in the day, I elected to go more modern. The 60 win 2015 Hawks rather than their 1958 counterpart, the 02 Kings rather than the 1951 Champs, and the 1992 Blazers who lost to MJ in the finals. Again, I'll be honest, I wasn't trying to create some of those really old teams basically from scratch. There were too many plumbers, man. Some franchises have been so inept in their time, calling a specific era their prime is difficult. No offense to the 93 Hornets or the Gilbert Arenas Wizards. Okay, yeah, I know the Wizards have won a championship in their day, but again, too many players to create. We're going with Gilbert's team. One franchise was such a tough call for me that I decided to expand our league to 32 teams because the 2012 Thunder are the best version of any OKC team, but the 96 Sonics almost won a ring are also super nostalgic and deserve to be in this video. Oh, and yeah, once again, Seattle did win a ring back in the 70s, but come on, it's Camp and Peyton, baby. I also applied that logic to the Nets franchise, where I've got the 2021 What If Kevin Durant's Shoes Were One Size Smaller Nets team, as well the Jason Kidd New Jersey Nets, who made back-to-back -back finals. Very quickly, six teams I haven't mentioned yet, but I will for the sake of 100%ing this intro. The finals losing Stockton Malone Jazz, the 70s Knicks who won a pair of rings, the Penny Shack Magic, the Reggie Miller Pacers, the MVP KG Timberwolves, and the what if DeMarcus didn't tear his Achilles 2018 Pelicans. Woo, baby. I just rattled off like this entire roster in two minutes. Um, except for the most controversial four franchises. Let's go. I chose the 2005 Spurs as their representative. It was the third of their five chips and features the most prime version of the Duncan Parker Ginobili Big Three. We cool? The Bucks were super tough since Kareem won a ring back in the 70s, but I chose the 21 Giannis-led crew instead. I mean, they won a ring in a 30-team league where Kareem's was in a 17-team NBA. We, uh, we cool? I also applied that same logic to the historic Boston Celtics franchise. We're going with the famed 86 Celtics Celtics led by Larry Bird rather than the Bill Russell dynasty era. I mean, they were winning in a nine team league, people. I, uh, I know we're not cool anymore. It's fine. And finally, I'm scared to even mention this, but for the Lakers, I decided to go to 2001, the Shaq Kobe team who won their second of three straight rings and lost just one game during that playoff run. I think the Showtime Lakers might be more influential in the grand scope of NBA history, but it's Shaq. It's Kobe. I had to do it. Did I make the right call? Oh my goodness. Year one MVP. MVP is Prime Gilbert. No kidding. Look at those numbers. The most accurate thing 2K has ever done. Manu won six man of the year. Oh, baby. Young Shaquille O'Neal winning DPOY. Again, yes, those numbers are nuts. First team all NBA is honestly shocking. Gilbert Arenas, how did the... I can't imagine the Wizards won very many games. Jason Kidd? All right. Kevin Garnett, Carl Malone, and Moses Malone. Okay. Bro, I got it. How? How did the Wizards finish as the two seed? I promise you, I thought they were one of the two or three weakest teams out here. The West is just a bloodbath. Of course, the 17 Spurs are up there. Lakers, OKC, Dirk and the Mavs are a two seed. Yo, were they low-key a super team? Ah, oh, that explains it. LeBron didn't choke. He just lost to a super team. Let's uh, let's get that agenda going. When I make these videos, I actually enjoy seeing more uh, the teams that missed the playoffs. Stockton and Malone. Wasn't Carl Malone first team All-NBA and he was last in the West? What? The, not the 86 Celtic? Bro, bro, bro. I, sh I should have used Bill Russell, I guess. Have we been lied to all these years by Boston people about how good that 86 team was? Like, come on. You think you're better than people. Same goes for the bad boy Pistons. I guess I should have chosen the uh, 04 team, the Knicks. All these OG franchises, just terrible. Jason Kidd and the Nets were respectable. Their roster is not good. The Hornets, even those Hawks made the playoffs. That's kind of nuts. I'm really not sure why all the numbers are so inflated, but yeah, Gilbert Arenas averaged near 37 a game. KD 
on the Thunder averaged 34. Moses missed the playoffs, but put up 33 and 16. Wow. I love how many point guards we have in this league back in their prime. Steve Nash, Jason Kidd, Russell Westbrook killing it. Terry Porter of the Blazers, shout out. I just made a couple jokes about this Dallas Mavericks team. Dirk averaged 27 and 10. And after that, they were just balanced. 2K really loves this team. The Lakers finished, I think, fourth in the West. Kobe averaged 31 a game. Shaq, 28 and 14. They just, they have zero depth, this team. I don't know if they're going to make it. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice where the Nuggets finished. I did boost their team. Jamal Murray is an 88 and 89. That's where he deserves to be. I gave Aaron Gordon a bump. Wait, they made a trade. The Nuggets sent Michael Porter to the Knicks for Willis Reed and Dave DeBusher. Both those dudes are pretty old, but that's solid. Round one, I have no idea how to make projections or say anything interesting because all these teams are great. They're all in their prime. So let's see what happens. Speaking of those current Nuggets, they are into a game seven against the 2014 Lob City Clippers. Oh, and Prime CP3 is trying to get something done here with LA. I don't see... Oh, no. I don't see Jokic out there for the Nuggets. Don't tell me he's fouled out. Well I had to have fouling out on in this video because, I mean, it's the real NBA. What about, oh, that was a great pass, Jamal, to old man Willis Reed. Maybe they can still get it done. In the clutch, Chris Paul would step up big time first, stripping Jamal Murray, then going coast to coast. Oh, my word. That was just a Chris Paul masterclass. Are you kidding me? Prime Blake Griffin with 39 and 10 and a win. Chris Paul, 26 and 16. Yeah. Okay, but elsewhere in round one, the Shaq Kobe Lakers were swept by the Young Thunder. Otherwise, no surprises. Golden State, okay. See Dallas, LA in round two. Meanwhile, Milwaukee will face the 2016 Cavs and Gilbert, MVP Gilbert did advance. He'll face the 2019 Raptors. Oh my gosh, what is the, excuse me? Nothing too dramatic in the West, but Prime KD did beat Young KD and Dirk lost. I thought he was making a Lin Sanity run. However, once again, the first seeded Bucks have been pushed to seven, this time by LeBron and Kyrie. Wow, see, see, yeah, this this might just prove those 2021 Bucks were just a little bit fraudulent. I mean, Kevin Durant's shoe would have been behind the line. I'm just saying. Bro, the crazy thing about this LeBron stat line is he has literally had games like this in the playoffs, like in his real career, not just a video game. Anyways, we've got Warriors 2014 Clippers. Very interesting. Gilbert Arenas versus LeBron James for like the 20th time in their career. Oh my gosh. And Gilbert might finally be getting his revenge. Although it's a game seven, you know LeBron loves them. Oh, and yeah, the Warriors, well, they're just cruising through the West. Like, what did you expect? Just a side note, do y'all remember how magical that summer of 2000? 2016 was. Anyways, LeBron and Kyrie are trying to bring that energy back. They are up six, but Gilbert... Oh, that's MVP Gilbert. Yeah, yeah, he's not going out without a fight. Neither team can get a stop right now in the clutch, so uh, advantage to the Cavaliers who have the lead. What? Dude, how did Jameson not steal that pass? Come on, 2K. The Wizards are trying to get Gilbert the ball, but he's getting blanketed off ball by, by, off ball by LeBron. Kevin Love defended Jameson. That might be it. Unreal defense down the stretch by the Cavs, and they made their free throws. Adios, MVP Gilbert. You uh, yeah, you finished with a 39-point triple-double. Pretty good season, I'd say. Wait, wait, wait. No, I didn't. What? I uh, didn't quite realize we were tracking towards the Warriors-Cavs finals. That's not interesting. We've seen that literally four times. I mean, it's not that surprising, at least from the Warriors perspective here is their full roster Durant Steph Clay Draymond yeah I mean they were the best team on paper I'm not so oh they picked up James Edwards that literally doesn't matter but interesting meanwhile the Cavs yeah actually I guess with LeBron at a 99 Kai at a 94 it, it it does check out this is a very good roster as well can LeBron and the Cavs get revenge for all those times they lost we're not going to mention them all or do the Warriors just walk through again well okay then um, yeah, I, I, I didn't see this one come. Every LeBron stan watching this video is so happy right now. I mean, including me. I, I, I can't lie. I can't lie. My goat's getting another ring here. This is what he deserved. Um, yeah, wow. I, how did this happen, though? Oh, and I forgot to put the Cavs in their 2016 jerseys. Gosh darn it. I ruined a perfectly pleasant moment. I'll be honest. For a lot of teams, I did make tweaks to player overalls to make them a bit better. I did nothing to this Cavs team other than create Amon Shumpert, who's a 78. Like, it doesn't explain their dominance. Oh, and since I couldn't shut up in the intro of this video, I forgot to mention our other twist in this video. I've added 60 players in their prime into the next two draft classes just for a touch more chaos. Let's go. And after year one, the draft, the Pelican, yo, those Pelican, they barely missed the playoffs. AD DeMarcus. Okay. Minnesota KG makes sense. Stockton and Malone. Yeah, they were terrible. Dude, this is crazy. Uh, I can't, who came in the first, wait, Dominique. Oh no. Oh no. The Pelicans might've just fumbled the bag. Kareem was 
there. Oh, wait, I guess they do have AD and Demarcus. Maybe they made the jo uh, Joel. Okay. I did put a lot of big men in this draft. I see it now, but Oscar was there too. Pelicans, what were you doing? Okay, okay. Again, positionally, it makes sense that they wouldn't take Kareem and Joel, I guess. But Dominique over big O Jerry West, like that's kind of crazy. Oh my gosh. What were these teams doing? <laughs> that is crazy. Okay, Luca to 10. What I meant to say was Luca at 10 to the Indiana Pacers. He joins Reggie Miller. DeAndre Jordan signed there. Okay, it's not the best roster, but Luca will raise their floor for sure. Here's the Pelicans, dude. I don't love them taking Dominique. They definitely should have taken Oscar or just like Kareem and move AD to the three. I'm not sure. Ah, that's OP. That's OP. Uh, Kareem got taken. I didn't even realize he joins Kevin Garnett for the best front court ever. There actually wasn't an insane amount of player movement, but with the new players added through the draft, a few signings here and there, just don't show me Cavs Warriors again at the end of the year. Well, Gilbert's reign as uh, king of the NBA has come to an end. Kareem 34 and 15. Okay. Young Shaq just dominating this DPOI trophy. I mean, I guess. First team all NBA looking better. Uh, this makes more sense than year one. Steph, Luka on the Pacers. I can't believe the Pelicans passed on him. LeBron, KD, and Kareem. Okay. Oh, look at that. The Steve Nash Suns are the one seed. That's kind of fun. The current Nuggets looking to avenge last year. Okay. <laughs> Gilbert is still the king of the NBA. What? He's a one seed and he'll be playing the Cavs LeBron in round one. What? Oh, wait a minute. There's no way I just noticed. I, I think I just noticed something. Where are the Golden State Warriors? How? That's a joke job. Oh, and look at it. <laughs> the bottom of the East prime Michael Jordan and prime LeBron. I don't care if he lost D-Wade. How did this happen? There always ends up being way too many storylines to try and follow when I make these videos. Okay, Kareem atop the league. Moses Malone just put in work. Uh, LeBron there, despite his heat being bad. We saw him in the finals in year one, but in year two, they just fell off. I don't really know how. But what do we got in the playoffs in year two? We're definitely going to have another champ, right? Correct, Amundo. The Cavaliers ousted round one. Wow. Wow. And shout out to Kobe and Shaq for taking down KG and MVP Kareem. You love to see it. A really interesting game seven between Lucas Pacers and the 2019 Raps. Oh my, Luca might be backpacking Reggie to his first ring. Oh wait, this is only the second round. I'm getting ahead of myself, but this is Kawhi with all that 2019 aura going to work right around bald Reggie. Yep, that's too easy. Luca going to work on old man D. Luca, you got to be able to blow by. Oh, or just use your strength. D Wade is a baby, my boy. D Wade trying to get a bat. D Wade trying to get back at Luca. Yeah, he gets shot. Dude, Kawhi be chucking up the craziest shots. This time he makes it at least. Does Luca have an answer in the clutch? He's going past D Wade. He missed, but DeAndre Jordan timely on the glass. That's why they brought him in. Neither team has a timeout left. The Raps down four. Uh, they don't have Kawhi. Dude, did Kawhi foul out? I, he might have fouled out Jalen Brunson. That's a good look for three. And he bricked it. Oh, wait a minute. What? How'd that loose ball? The loose ball got the Pascal and Reese. He didn't go up with it. D Wade for three. I don't know what I just saw, but the Raptors do not have a timeout. It's good if it goes. Nah, he missed by a mile. Okay. Toronto made it fun, but it is Pacers versus 2021 Brooklyn Nets in the East Finals. And in the West, it's young KD in the Thunder versus those Dominique Pelicans. Let's go. OKC is a 3-2 series lead. The Pels are fighting, dog. Wow, they were up by a lot when I slowed down the sim. Can they force a game? Yo, they almost they almost choked that one completely. Game seven. Here we go. Pelicans Thunder spot in the finals on the line. Wow, dude. The Thunder were up so big in this game. The uh, Pelicans came all the way back, but they're going to come up short. OKC playing in Seattle for some reason, going to the finals. Oh, and by the way, the Indiana Pacers absolutely destroyed the fraudulent Durant Nets. Maybe adding new players into the mix was too OP because Luka is obviously backpacking the Pacers, but I mean, Reggie's doing his thing. Jalen Rose, they are a pretty good team. I can't lie. And look at the Thunder. They've done it with basically just their prime roster that they started with. KD is putting on a clinic. My word, Russ is really good. Yo, how'd they get Pascal Seattle? Oh, from the draft. Okay, fair enough. Luka Doncic, who fell to number 10 in our draft of added legends going up against the OKC Thunder. Can they finally win that ring? They should have. Well, they're currently up 3-2 are the Thunder with a chance to close it out. Yeah, they just did it. They, oh, they just did it. They went nuts in the fourth. Okay. Once again, because 2K loves to glitch when you edit rosters and edit where people play. They're playing on the Sonics home court. Whatever, dude. The OKC Thunder, this is the ring. This is the core that should have won them a ring. Maybe after this, KD won't have 
have to debate his own legacy on Twitter spaces anymore. Wow. And the lottery for year two will see the Hornets. Yeah, that's where they probably, but the Bucks, I forgot they were, no way the 80s, they just kept progressively getting worse. Larry Bird, Jerry West, Kevin McHale, Michael, I don't know who that, bro, I cannot figure this game out sometimes. Some of these teams be going crazy. Milwaukee took Allen Iverson over Wilt, uh, over Bill Russell. By the way, the Celtics chose Wilt over Russell too. Interesting. D-Rob was in this draft. Jason Tatum, so many Celtics. Honestly though, it's been all fun and games with the Celtics. They just added Wilt to Larry Bird, 95 Jerry West, Kevin McCann. <laughs> if this team doesn't make the playoffs, I have zero answers. Yo, Kawhi Leonard signed with the Clippers. What? He, he said no to Toronto, just like in real life. That's wild. Ah, the super team at it again, Tracy. Okay, they must have drafted Tracy McGrady, De'Aaron Fox. They might be back on the map here. After being bad for two seasons, Charlotte has drafted Magic Johnson. They also added Jimmy Butler, Alonzo Mourning, and Larry Johnson had some crazy potential. The Knicks are not very good, but they drafted Carmelo Anthony. How fitting. We haven't heard much from the Lakers this video. Kobe Shaq, they've added Tony Parker from the Spurs. Wow, the Rockets. Wow, yeah, they've been bad for two years. They drafted Vince. Now they've drafted David Robinson next to Hakeem, who is unfortunately getting worse. And after winning a chip, the Thunder are running back KD Westbrook Harden. How did they add Gary Payton? How ironic, Serge Ibaka. Now we have a lot more player movement. These rosters are insane. Is OKC just going to run the table again? And I knew those Charlotte Hornets were going to come into play after the drafting. They'd done Magic wins MVP. Russ has moved to the bench, I think, behind Gary Payton. He wins six, man. Yep, the Thunder are great. Bill Russell on the Bulls. Oh my word, with Michael Jordan. He usurped Shaq as DPOI. Magic, Oscar, LeBron, KG, and Kareem. Oh, they had the All-NBA first team front court. And yet Minnesota is a seven seed, even with both players first team All-NBA. That is crazy. Shaq, Kobe, and the Lakers are the one seed and the Warriors are back in the playoffs. Magic and the Hornets. Okay, they're down there as a two seed. And, and yeah, okay, okay. Michael Jordan and the Bulls a one seed. The Celtics make the playoffs. Well done, boys. You know what? It took you a long time in this video, all you blue blood teams, but you've done it. Um, like the bare minimum, I mean. Yeah, yeah, there's Hakeem's new look Rockets. I can't even remember. Who are all the studs they added again? I'm not sure. The Nuggets missed the playoffs. The Sonics losing Gary Payton. Yep, that checks out. Okay, I already mentioned, but the Bulls, Hornets, yep, Celtics. The Sixers finally make the playoffs. Luka and the Pacers barely. And both LeBron teams. Yo, the Cavs, the Cavs after winning the chip in year one just kind of dipped out of this video. Finally, I can mention Kevin Durant in this video, although his Brooklyn Nets missed the playoffs. So there there you go. Kareem, a uh, low-key, high-key robbed of MVP. Shout out to Kobe. Is this finally the year for him and Shaq to make some noise? There is Michael Jordan, Carmelo on the Knicks. Oh, yeah. Oh, just so many storylines, brother. Interesting. I just noticed the Pelicans did add a point guard, Tyrese Halliburton, and they were a five seed. Okay. Maybe they made the right call taking Dominique over Jerry West Oscar after all. Yes, I knew it. I knew they did. They had the right mixture. They take down the defending champion, OKC Thunder. We're getting a third different winner. MJ and the Bulls took seven games to beat Luka and the Pacers, but they did advance. And the Celtics remain the biggest loser of the video. Okay, I'm not even upset about that. Wow, so many round two storylines to go through. First of all, the Shaq Kobe Lakers unfortunately lost to the DeMarcus AD Pelicans. Oh, well. My Steve Nash Phoenix Suns were right there for a second straight year, but they lost to Kareem as well. MVP Magic and the Hornets are off to round three, beating the New Jersey Nets. While MJ's found himself in a game seven against the Bad Boy Pistons. It's like a rematch of those 80 series, except Oscar Robertson is there, Yao Ming, Bill Ray. It's a little bit different, okay? You know what's not different, though? The Pistons kicking Michael Jordan's butt. Yeah, this is happening. Doesn't matter that there's no Isaiah Thomas, Dennis Rod. Well, Dennis Rodman might say he might be on both these rosters. Okay, Bill Russell dunking. As I was saying, it doesn't matter who's on the rosters. The bad boy Pistons always in the DNA, always gonna beat Michael Jordan. Al although, it's still a game, Anton Bricked. Okay, let me chill. Wait a minute. I'm an idiot. I do see Isaiah Thomas out there for the Pistons, and he's gonna remain undefeated against Mike. I mean, this is nuts. I mean, it's just, it, it is literally, it's gotta be personal for MJ right now. And also, Yao is like 12,000 feet tall. Get out of here, Bill Russell. To be fair, Michael Jordan entering this video, he did finally hold up his end of the bargain, 35 and 5. But we do end up with four fresh faces in the West and East Finals. Actually, the Pelicans might have been there, but the Timberwolves, the Hornets, the Pistons in the East. Let's go, boys. Ah, and let's go do another Game 7. The Pistons are fighting. Magic 
Butler, Larry Johnson, Alonzo Mourning. This team should be winning. Wow, but they're not. It's tied 141 all game seven, baby. I'm seeing so many people tired this video in the clutch. It's interesting. Uh, interesting. Magic Johnson stolen by Yao. Manu's got a clear break. Larry Johnson in front of Isaiah. Oh, wow. Charlotte did not get back on D. Obviously, every team at this point is pretty good. The Pistons included, but I, uh, Charlotte's roster is something else, brother. And Yao gets another steal. What are these lazy inbound uh, entry passes? In transition, Isaiah Thomas is going to score again. Magic finally taking control. No, he's not. No, he's, he's just chucking the ball. I don't get why teams do this. They just go into the post. Alonso did score, but like, come on, brah. Okay, both teams are out of timeouts. Do we see some chaos down the stretch? One man and one man only was determined to bring chaos to the video. The MVP, Magic Johnson. What is Magic doing? Why did he chuck from so deep, bro? My boy thought he was Steph Curry and he's, you know, not. Actually, come to think of it, the, Mad the Hornet have no current players out there. I mean, Magic, no way Magic was their best three-point shooter, though. He kind of sold there. Although, I mean, Magic did have 33 points and 21 assists, so I guess he was okay. And oh yeah, did I forget to mention the Pelicans are into the finals? Let's go. Once again, they've got a chance to prove that Dominique Wilkins was the right selection. He is balling out. 80 is a 90 overall. DeMarcus a 92. Nikola Mirotic doing his thing. Drew Holiday still kicking around. Meanwhile, the Detroit Pistons are just super... Oh yeah, the Pelicans took Dominique over Oscar. Oh, it's all coming together. Yao Ming is there. Manu, old man Isaiah Thomas. This is going to be a battle. A ton of connective tissue between our two finals teams. I knew it was going to be epic, and indeed it was. Both teams defended home court before Detroit went up 3-2 with a chance to win it. And the Pelicans need a run here, dude. Ah, oh, they're down double digits. AD, come on, you're 99 overall. But it doesn't matter. 99 for what? On your home court? Oh my gosh, I knew it. I knew the Pelicans drafted Dominique over a bunch of studs and immediately they were cursed for the rest of this timeline. The Pistons began this video as a massive disappointment alongside Boston, Philly, New York, but they came all the way around a ring in year three. The Pelicans had a chance to draft Oscar Robertson to complete their big three. Instead, in year three, he averages a triple double against them. With each team in the NBA back in their prime, we had Gilbert Arenas, Kareem, and then Magic win MVP. And more importantly, we had the Cavs get getting revenge against the Warriors, the 2012 Baby Thunder finally winning a ring, and the Pistons beating the Pelicans in year three. Man, that was a journey with plenty of twists and turns, but I think we can all agree on one thing. The Celtics was trash, brother, and we love to see it. And for everyone other than Boston fans who have clearly already clicked off this video, if you want to see more legends in their prime, check out this NBA imperialism video where I put legends on their hometown teams. It's so good.